Hello friends, welcome back. I hope that you all had a nice Easter if you celebrate Easter. I hope that you were able to spend the day with your family. And I hope that the weather is going to start getting a little bit better, a little bit warmer would be great. We can sit, you know, outside and get some fresh air. Today for foundations, we're gonna learn a new vowel pattern right here, okay? We're going to learn three ways to spell the long sound of O. So we remember that O is usually O, octopus, ah, right? That's the short vowel of O, but there's also a long vowel of O, and O says its own name. There's three ways to spell that. O, A says O, O, E says O, O, W sometimes says O, even though this one looks like it would say ow, and sometimes it does say ow, like wow. But today we're going to learn that sometimes it says O. Okay, so remember with these tricky ones, can't always tell a rule, but when you read books and you see words in books, that's when your brain makes a connection of, oh, I've seen that word in a book, and now I'm seeing this word on a spelling test, and it makes a connection of how to say the word when you read it and how to spell the word when you write it. So these are very important, okay? So let's look at the word boat. Think of the word boat, okay? Like row your boat. Do you think that boat starts with a B, right? Boat. Do you think it's B-O-A, B-O-E, or B-O-W? Think about if you've seen the word boat in writing before. Yes, B-O-A, boat. Here we go, B-O-A, what's the last letter? T, B-O-A-T, boat, good job. Okay, let's think of the word show. Show, have you seen the word show written down? Would I spell show, S-H-O-A, S-H-O-E, S-H-O-W for the word show, like show and tell. Yep, S-H-O-W. You see how it looks like it should say ow, but it doesn't. It says show. And S-H is a digraph. S-H is a digraph, so it's sh-o. We don't say O-W as two separate sounds. We say it as one sound of long O, sh-o, show. Why did I underline the S-H? Yes, because it is a digraph, right. Let's think of the word, um, let me check the list, road, road. The car drives on the road, 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 road. Which one do you usually see it spelled? Yep, R-O-A-D, road, good job. If you have a scrap piece of paper, you can be writing these down. Make three columns, columns go up and down, right? Columns, make three columns and you can write O-A, O-E, O-W, and you can write them with me. Remember what I said last week, if you don't have any paper, if you can't find any right now, grab your, uh, your what do you call this, agenda, assignment planner, this thing that's in your book bag. If you have that, look, it's great paper. You can turn to today's date, which is Monday, April 13th, and you can use this column right here to write these words, okay? If you don't have any paper, just grab that. The next word is um, elbow. Where's your elbow? Your elbow. Yep, I see you going like this. This is your elbow. How do you spell elbow? Can you think of how to spell it? Yep. E L B O W. Elbow. And again, it looks like it would be ow, right? But we know that we don't spell it like that. It's E-L-B-O-W, elbow. Good job. 
How about the word tiptoe? When you walk on your tiptoes. Tiptoe, tiptoe. 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 Tiptoe or tiptoe? Yep. Check this out. Tip toe. T O E is toe. T O E. Tip toe. Now, how many syllables does tiptoe have? Do you remember how to count syllables? Put your hand under your chin, and when you say the word, count how many times it bounces. Ready? Tip toe. I heard two syllables. Two syllables is right. Boat, road, show have one. Tiptoe has two. What about elbow? How many syllables do you hear in elbow? Two. So tiptoe and elbow are both two syllable words. Good job. The next word is coach. Coach. If you play on a, a team for a sport, you have a coach. How have you seen coach spelled? Maybe you saw that in a book that you were reading about a sport. You're right, C-O-A-C-H. Here's the O-A, coach. We don't tap this separately. We don't say k a a ch because when we see O-A together, one tap. Tap it with me. K o ch. What's the ch part of this word? Yep, digraph. So we're really not going to underline the vowel pattern. We're going to underline a digraph. That's how we mark up a digraph. K o ch. Coach. You got it. Let's find a hard one. Let's see. How about snow? Where would I put snow? If you have paper, write snow in the column that you think it would go. Yep, you are right. S-N-O-W, snow and show. Great job, write that one on your paper if you didn't have time yet. Ready? Next word, below. Below. I went below the table to pick up something. Below. Where would below go? Yep. B E L O W. After you write below, figure out how many, what is it called? Syllables. How many syllables is in below? Try that trick. You heard two? Below. That's right. Now let's look at it. Here's the two syllables. Below. Why do we say B E for B? We say B, long E. We don't say B E. Do you remember why we say B for that first syllable? Think back to a couple of months ago when we learned about syllables open syllables and closed syllables. What makes B-E say B? Yes, B-E is a open syllable. Watch, if we take low away, it's just B-E. That E is hanging out, the door is open. So when you get to an open syllable, yes, it makes a long sound. So B, low, O-W says O. One more for today. We will do some more tomorrow. The word is coat. Coat. Wear a raincoat. You see the word coat spelled? These different choices. The answer is right here. C-O-A-T. Coat. Great job. Here's your bonus word. I'm not going to tell you the answer until tomorrow. Your bonus word is rainbow. See if you can spell rainbow and put it in there. You can have the answer for me tomorrow. I will tell you where does rainbow go. Have a great day today. Work on some of your vowel teams. When you're reading a story, if you find any of these words, you can add them to your list, okay? Have fun!